Hi, my name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So what I'm picking up, I'm more strongly picking up about the Divine Feminines, about a, a blocked heart. I'm definitely getting two of swords, four of, four of pentacles with the Divine Feminine. But let's talk about your person, because that's why you're here, <laughs> right? So I feel there's a kind of a confusion of how to move forward. Seven of Cups with your person. Uh, not delusion, confusion of how to progress. It's kind of like um, they've woken up, the Divine Masculines have woken up and it's like they know that they made mistakes of the past with relationships and etc. And by them knowing a negative or knowing what non-love is, it made them recognize what love is, which is connected to you, that you're loving and others are not. So it's kind of figuring out how to come towards you. But I feel that at this time, they're still not doing it correctly, meaning that I'll give an example of how they're going forward. It's like they're cautious to come towards the divine feminine because some of you they know they've messed up some of them they made other choices and all this kind of stuff and because of they know that they've messed up or made other choices or whatever they're like i don't want to do that again which is brilliant they don't want to do that past mistake again but what they're doing which is incorrect is so they're being cautious to come towards you. But this planet isn't about that because the false journey, which is tarot, which is the false journey is your life. Your journey of your life is a full card and the full card represents taking the risk. What they're seeing is they took the risk of something in the past. It didn't work correctly thinking I want to do it right this time, but they should... I'll kind of explain this. It's like as if they go to a job and a cleaning job and a cleaning job treats them crap. So they're going to jump into another. They're like, OK, I'm going to forget that. I want to move on. It was my mistake. I should have picked up the red flags or whatever. I should have been a better person. I shouldn't have went in that company. I'm going to go and get another cleaning job. So... That's right. They're recognizing their past mistakes, their past relationships. I want to go towards that company. I want to come towards you. But um, if you go for a new job, you can't go in and say, listen, I know it's cleaning. But last time they fucked me over when I was hoovering, they made me hoover so many different departments. So I'm not going to hoover this time. And you know what? They made me do so many extra overtimes. I'm not going to do any overtime. I'm going to see how it goes. And then gently, the new job would like, fuck off. This is a cleaning, right? you got to do what you got to do. They're too cautious. They're not jumping in with you. That's what it, this is. But they, and why that is, so you're like, well, you jumped in with Billy Bob or Sarah Louise. you got to jump in with me. They're still judging you. They, If you said that to them, they'd be like, fuck off, I'm not judging you. <laughs> but it, if you're doing something, if you're reacting to something from a past negative, you're judging the future. And there should be no judgment. So they're not jumping in fully with you. And by that, that is still like, for example, some of them are not coming back because of their like, okay, it is what it is. I fucked up, right? So some of them have come back, but they're not still like, I love you. I made a mistake. I I want to move forward. Some of them are coming back and they're like, I'm still tied here. Where it's like, well, okay, if you're still tied, but you got to tell that woman or that man that you're with me now. They're still half assed Although they're fully committed to you their actions is not correct yes <laughs> that's what i'm getting and with you 
you're closed, you're like that, you're completely blocked off. And in fact, you don't care. That's how I feel. You're like, if they say anything, it's like you're not, you're not pulled into that drama, which is brilliant. But like, the problem is, but this is a divine connection. You're waiting to meet someone else. You're like, if they come back correct, hey ho. If not, I'm waiting for someone to come correct. So it's actually the balls in the divine feminine's court. Because even if they're showing up, up your divine masculine, if they don't fully commit, commit, like I said, it's a false journey, and take that full risk with you, whatever that is, like a full relationship. If they don't just come in and take it as a full relationship, let's go out, let's do this, come round to mine, meet my family, I love you, blah, 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 particularly if you've had some past. If they're not moving forward like that, but you know they've done it with Billy Bob or Sarah Louise, you're like, nah. You're either just not engaging with them or you're like, yep, yeah, we could be friends, but, you know, I'm waiting for something else. If they miss the boat, that's the divine connection uh divine yeah connection that's how it's supposed to be at the moment i feel there's still time because you lot haven't moved on but um got new people and settled down but if you do meet that person and they're good for you bye bye divine masculine definitely so it's a learning something it's now, it's like, unfortunately, it's hard to, well, it's not hard to say, but unfortunately, they, from their past actions, their karma hasn't been played out enough yet. And unless they take the full risk with you, they will miss out completely. Yeah. That is their contract, to fully commit to you. Not to half ask to fully commit to you. <clears throat> it's like I said, with the divine fact, you just don't want to know. Let me pull out some cards. <laughs> you're like, nah. You, you're, you're closed heart, definitely. I don't know, I'm getting more two of the swords than four of pentacles. I don't feel you're holding back, you're just not interested. You're interested in someone fully committing to you if that's a divine masculine great right man or woman if it, that's a new person great it's not like you're not interested in them you're interested in a proper relationship that's the divine family okay let's take them let's take them what we got here I'll take them like that. I'll get the other cap anyway. <laughs> so I don't normally do reversals, but anyway, because I read anyway. So we got the um, Three of Swords in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant, there's your person, right? Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Third Party. In reverse, I'm reading it as they're coming out of that situation. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, which way? Three of Swords is a heartbreaking situation. Something that happened, and I'll be honest, as I've said, that I feel that the Divine Masculine has had... A situation this is karma or someone showing up like how they treated you so they know how to treat other people three of swords is third party so they might be are they seeing it i think they're seeing it they not you might not yeah there's def definitely your person I don't know if it's an actual knowing that the person they're connected with has someone else, third party, 
through swords. The person they're connected with, Ten of Pentacles, someone they're living with, house, car, picket fence. So someone they're connected with, with baby's mum, or someone they're living with, Ten of Pentacles, right, is third party. And they're not living with you, are they? <laughs> right? You're not the, the wife or the, you know, that's what you're intending to be. So there's a heartbreak there. And you might say, no, Sophia, my person is heartbreak for me because they went towards someone else. No, I'm not reading it that way. I'm re because of it's your person. It's heartbroken because I wouldn't say they're heartbroken because it's in reverse. So they're done with that. Your person logicates, it's three swords, so they logicated that this is done, this situation, that this marriage, this, this person I'm connected with, the family, not their mum, dad, you, you know, house, car, picket fence, ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles in reverse, so they're done with it, right? Upright is, oh, they're happy in their home and that, it's in reverse, they're not happy because of it's a heartbreaking situation and three of swords generally rep represents third party so there's someone else involved and i definitely feel and look underneath the three of swords is cheater there's cheating involved and i think because your person knows that it's not necessarily why they want to come towards you but it's done it's like it's ended. They've got someone else. And to be honest, I think this person always had someone else. This, mm, for a while, at least. Yeah. This person had someone else or something like that. And... Yeah, it, I, I don't know how to say. It's a reflection. It's like they, your person knew you was the one went to someone else or got with someone else. The person they're connected with wanted someone else. They didn't go towards them and settled with your person. It's kind of like that. That's what I'm definitely been picking up. The Hierophant, your person, are they seeing that? They might be seeing this with, with how things are showing up towards them with the Hierophant. They're getting some kind of higher purpose, higher, higher knowledge of that's what this is. I committed to the wrong one. Hierophant is committed. It's like as if your person committed to Hierophant here. Um, Have you, I have to give an example here. Say you're working with someone and there's someone in the office and you really get on with them and you and you quite fancy them. And you think, yeah, I could date them. And they're, and they're so nice to you at work, right? Say you're single, right? <laughs> um, and, and I'm only saying work because where else would you know to meet someone who you would think that is really nice, right? Because of I'm just, anyway, example, example, example. Say you're at work and you're talking to someone, you're like, yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, I really fancy them. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could move in, house, car, picket fence, and fall in love, right? Heart, right? And that's why I keep saying it's a mirror. My three swords is the broken mirror, smashed mirror. It's a mirror from how they treated you. Back to my work example. Yeah, they're really nice. They're really nice, right? And then your person gets with this person, right? But this is like someone coming up to you and slapping you in the face and go, yeah, Billy Bob or Sarah Louise is great at work. They talk to you great at work. But you have to look at the bigger picture. Can you live with them? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Sarah Louise, Billy Bob, right? She's so lovely. He's so lovely. And 
you know, they've asked me out and we've gone for drinks and she's given me the number and someone saying to you, like, wake up, right? When she or he gave you the number, didn't she go like that? And she had loads of numbers. Don't they always go out? Billy Bob always, Sarah Louise always go to the pub. They're nice to fucking everybody. They go out with fucking everybody. That's what I'm picking up here. There's something like that. Your person was bamboozled by this person. I don't know why I'm picking up that, but there's something like they didn't see it as what it was. Well, yeah, if they treat me like this, they're treating everyone like that. If a guy come and ask for my number, this is separate, and I'm single, I'll give the number. But if it doesn't work out, I delete that number. I never hold on to numbers. I'm like, I, or I, I don't delete it. I block it because if I delete it, they can still ring me. I'm like, you, I don't want a load of numbers. It's like, that's what this is. This person has loads of other, with this casual, right? They're in and out with everybody. But, uh, and why they're in and out with every, and like I said, it's a mirror with the three of swords. That's how your person was with you and others. So like attracts like. They attracted someone who was, wow, this is amazing. But with the Ten of Pentacles, they live with that person. Or they have a kid with that person. But it's Pentacles. They live with that person who's casual. And for some reason with the Hierophant, higher, right, higher knowledge of that, that they committed to the wrong one. The, the 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 hierophant is got the twins see clarification got the twins is committing to the twin flame hierophant is why are you saying that yeah they want better it's like you you it's like it's weird because with your person i would say this is a past way of seeing it with your person, you see them as the same level as you, but at the same time, they're not because they they were playing around. That's how they're seeing this person. I want a higher person than me. And as I've said before, when they was with this person they committed to with the Ten of Pentacles, remember it's in reverse, they're not committed to them anymore. And they're out of this heartbreaking situation. They might still be connected with this because they're next to each other. So they might still be living with or connected with. Like I said before, I pulled out the card uh, cards is that this is why in, it's like they're still living or connected with this marriage because Hierophant is marriage. They might not be married, but if you're living with someone, you might as well say you're married. There's something like they're still connected because of, but it's behind him. Do you see? He's not interested in the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's behind him. He's looking to commit to the twin flame. Twins, right? You two. But he's still connected. She's still connected to that. But it's like they know, as I said underneath, and I'll just show you the other ones underneath, that the situation I need to why am I getting that It's like they know they've gone to someone else. I think I've said that already. The person they're with, the marriage, the baby's mum, whoever they're connected with, it's like they know they've gone to someone else. Something like that. Their flame is going to someone else. Their passion is like, yeah. It's like you, before you couldn't know your person because they was a player. You wouldn't want to be connected to a player and living with a player. Your person is living with someone who is now a player. Now, I don't know how long they've been a player or something like that, but it's like, yeah. So they're in that situation. This contract stopped you two from continuing into living, getting married and stuff like that because of they needed to see it from someone else. 
and now they see clearly that their person is like as if that passion they had for them is gone on to someone else. I think they think it's someone else. They know. And it's interesting. I keep getting that. It, yeah, it's an exact mirror. It's like as if <laughs> they, it's weird. It's like they attracted a twin flame. This is what people may call as a fake twin flame. But it's like they attracted someone with twin flame qualities, passion and desire, blah, blah, blah. But the person they're with, say your person is married or connected to someone or left you for someone else, that person is a twin flame. But that person has a twin flame with someone else. Your person saw the same twin flame stuff. I don't know why I'm getting this. And it's like, oh, this must be my other twin flame. Because there's passion, there's desire, there's this and that. And it's like, no, that's why your person has so many people that's connected to them. Because they, is it exude? They have all this passion, desire, and everyone's like, oh, but there's only one person they're supposed to have that with. That's you. But everyone sees that twin flame quality from them. They was just another twin flame connected with a twin flame. Fucking hell. Of course this, right? And it, that wasn't their twin flame. You were their twin flame. And that person has their own twin flame, but their twin flame is unavailable. So they're playing around until their twin flame comes available. It's really weird. It's like they're connected with a masculine, which was the contract because of they connected with man or woman, but they were the cheater, which then put your divine masculine into their feminine energy. Because with you, they were the cheater, you was a feminine energy more of the feminine so they needed to meet this person for the roles to switch to because they were the one that were opening up that was trying to get them to do what you was trying to do with your person and it didn't work as it didn't work with you did it i hope this is making sense anyway let's go to the last line <laughs> uh knight of wands king of cups eight of pentacles what am I getting here? Well, like I said, I've just gone through the whole player situation, three of swords player, casual, shitstorm, mirror, broken mirror, smashed. Could be... Mm, quite volatile. It's like this person they're with, and you might not want to know, but I've got to say what I'm getting. You know when you pick up the signs of your person's kind of with you but not interested? It's kind of like they're getting this dis, disinterested in them. Anyway, let's see where this is going. So Knight of Cups, this is your person. Your person's person's gone in another direction. But so is your person. Your person is more committed to you. So that's that, right? King of Cups, yeah. It's like they're living in a home or connected to someone which they wish was you. King of Cups is up in their head, emotionally like... And that's what I was saying with this work situation. When someone's at work or you're somewhere and you know, I can only think of someone with they're at work. You, if you're meeting someone at the gym or on something, you, you don't see them long enough. But if you're at someone at work and they're really nice and you think they're nice, but if you switch the roles and you think, oh, but could I live with that person or could I really marry that person and really sit down and think, uh, does they like the same interests or, or, um, they didn't really figure it out. So it's like now your person is figuring out, yeah, you're the one that I could have. It's not love. Uh, it's not love what they're in with this person. It's lust. They went towards lust. Yeah, it's definitely lust. Eight of, yeah. 
this is back to uh, the initial energy before I pulled out the card, the Hierophant Eight of Pentacles. This is like they have to really fucking commit to you like they committed to this situation because you're just focused on work. You couldn't give two shits about Hierophant, right? They need to really, like I said, the, your person moved in, got married, or had a house car picket fence with someone else, right? They need to show up more to match that. This is, because, yeah, look, three of wands. You're waiting for something that will commit. You want this. You want someone who's committed to get married, to settle down. Your version, your version, if you want to get married or whatever, right, live with whatever. You want that. And if it's with your twin flame, yeah. If it's not, I'll get married to someone else. It's pretty much what I said at the beginning. At the moment, they're just in their head. Now, don't forget this is a divine contract. So it might need to be this is how it's playing out at the moment. Maybe they need more time. But if you find someone before your person commits, and you fall in love and you then commit with that person. That is divine time so that you move on. If you're not finding someone, it doesn't mean wait for your person, three of wands, because you get fed up with waiting for your person. But be open to meeting other people, right? That's what this is until it's a divine time for them because maybe they're still because like i said this ten of pentacles there's something here that's connected them financially with this other person pentacles look it's money pentacles is money so it's something like that in the reverse so it could be they lose a lot of money if they disassociate from this person they're married to something like that and you might go i don't give a shit well i get i get i hear you but that might be the delay but at the same time as i say when you're pissed off with this situation it's i oh, that's what i do i go back to oh it's divine time it's not supposed to you I, i'm pissed off yeah but it's, this is a divine connection. So this must be. The only thing is don't wait. Three of wands. Don't wait for your person. Be open to meeting new people. Right? Go on dates. Go with others. Whatever you got to do. That's what I would do. Right? Don't go with people just because your person's connected. Just be open. And be open with communication with your person as well. But like I said, this will be, if they, the contract will never keep you stuck. If your person is taking way too long to open up or way too long to come towards you, you will meet someone else. So it's not nothing for you to worry about. If you're not meeting other, if you meet someone and you're with someone now, right, and it's going good, then they would have known that your person in the future, wouldn't open up. They will just keep staying stuck with this person. You're just focused on work. I don't know what else. It's like, you're, you're, that's your priority. You should be focused on mission. Eight of Pentacles, mission. But anyway. Yes. <coughs> we can help you with that. Mm. Mm. Why is this here? <laughs> I need to go into this. Friends and family are still influencing you. Is that the Eight of Pentacles? It could be because of... Um, with the Divine Feminine... There's some of you that is still blocking your person, some of you that's not going back to your person, some of you are like, fuck my person off, but you're still watching tarot and you're waiting for them to come back. So stop lying to yourself. This could be friends and family. How can you get back with that person? He went towards or she went towards someone else or they're still married, friends and family. But as I say, this is about how you feel. 
some people can get over people's stress. It's like um, some people, like if someone cheated on you or something like that, one person might take a long time to get over that situation. And someone else who's more logical can just think, no, they cheated on me. I'm just going to cut them off. It is what it is. I might love them, but they cheated on me. I can't go back, right? That's this. You're listening, and I feel this is you, Divine Feminine. You're listening to others, but it's down to you. Like I said in this reading, it's divine timing. If you, it's like as if others are saying to you, this person treated you bad, divine masculine treated you bad, don't go back. And I keep telling you about tower readers and their fucking opinions, right? Upstairs will never, unless it's murder, right? They're not going to tell you to get with a murderer. Come on, right? But they will never tell you not to do something. They will tell you, yes, you're in a toxic or something. Put up your boundaries or something like that. Because you're here, here to help negative people. So they won't keep saying when you have something that's negative, fuck it off or you fuck off because how can you learn to do and help and guide? That's why the twin flame contract, you perceive your person to be negative, um, but it's for you to learn from that. So what I feel is that you're listening to others who, and tower readers, friends and family, because you class your tower readers and friends and family because you think that it's a community because you just write a comment and so does someone else. That's not a community. That's a just a popular channel, right? This is like you're listening to others who are telling you to fuck off your person and that, once again, three of swords is a mirror. You're still judging, right? They teach you in a weird way of how they follow their wants. They just do what they want. And that's what you're supposed to do. So this is like, if you're not ready, because you're obviously still watching tarot, if a tarot reader said, fuck me gently, your person's coming back on bended knees. They're going to come with flowers, a massive bling. They're going to propose. They've told everyone about you, right? They're so sorry. They're going to do everything to make up for this choice of going towards someone else that is fucked up. It's gone Pete Tong with that X. But don't worry about that. Everything's going to be fine. You'll change your mind. So this is about your person's not showing up how you want them to show up. So you're lying to yourself through a source in reverse connected to you that uh, because you're still heartbroken about this situation, you're heartbroken so you're not going back with a person, but you still love them. And some of you are thinking that as well. Oh, because that person has gone towards someone else, that's why your person's coming back towards you. But this is, once again, is about how you feel. So what? So if your person went towards someone else and they thought it was love, this is lust, right? They couldn't have went towards someone else and committed um, whilst with a connection with a twin flame. That never works unless you're healed properly. So regardless if they went towards someone else, if they were dating you, they loved you. Hierophants here. So whatever reason they went towards someone else was incorrect. Absolutely, right? There's It wasn't right. So you can't say, well, they loved this person instead of you. They might have treated that person like it was love, but they loved you, right? They might have treated that person, their house, the car, the picket fence, got married, the 3D, Ten of Pentacles, the physical, the 3D version. But they love you. King of Cups is here. Hierophant, right? And that's this. This is like you need to understand. Yes, your person went and done actions towards someone else, which looks like they love someone else. But they love you, and that's why you and you still love them. Through source, it's a heartbreaking situation. Doesn't mean that you two don't love each other. So 
you can see your person and chat to them until your heartbreak ends. And because they're still connected to that person, maybe that's what you need to do until you get over that, what they done by going to someone else. And in the in, in between time, be open to meeting others. That's what this is about. Each card in tarot has a negative and positive. The Knight of Wands is casual. The negative is fucking everyone else, right? And not telling everyone it's casual. Making it clear. This is like, you can, it's a heartbreaking situation, yes, right? You both are kind of healing from it. It's in reverse. So healing from this situation now. So meet up casually. Be open to others but still be open to meeting your person, right? Because it doesn't matter if what someone says to you, that's when you know there's domestic violence and abuse, and it's like, it's stupid. Why does that person stay with that person? Uh, some people stay with people with domestic violence and stuff because of they feel they have nowhere else to go, right? They really feel that. Um <clears throat> But some of them stay because they're like, I love that person, right? It doesn't matter what you think, if what other people think with this friends and family. If you're watching Tarot and you still want your person to come up in a certain way, like I gave an example of Tarot readers were saying or someone said, listen, slip this pill in, into your person's cup of coffee and they show up this way, right? You'll take, you'll do it. Well, I don't think you'll manipulate. But you see, if there was another way around it, you'll have them back, right? This isn't like, no, I'm not interested. Because if you weren't interested, you wouldn't even fucking be watching tarot about your person. You're, you're watching tarot to get some kind of resolution. Some kind of answers for why they went to someone else. Why they're staying with someone else. Not because you don't love your person. You've got to get that, correct? Yes. And that's why this is divine time. So you lot can both figure it out. Your person needs to figure out, yes, why I went towards this person. They have to figure out this mirror of, yeah, I went towards someone who was like me, right? That's it. The person they're with, right, if they left and went to someone else, they went to someone who's casual, 100%. And they weren't the main person. This person is, a, this, this, this card is completely away from all the other cards that are here. This person's going in a complete different other direction to go shag other people. 100%, right? Through swords in reverse. <clears throat> How they treat your person and your person just, I don't know why they connected to that person or how they got to get to live with them, whatever. I don't know if they're seeing it. It's like the person don't even care. It's like they both don't care. Living with someone who's is separate lives here. Whoever your person's with, living with, it's separate. Your person wants to commit, that other person wants to be casual. But again, your person, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. What the fuck? Your person who they're living with has someone they want to be with. The person they want to be with is not your person, right? Unless there's a tie, this tie, money. This could be mortgage. This could be kids, payment. There's some money tie between both of them. <clears throat> but your person who they're connected with is in love and passionately with someone else. And I feel it's a twin flame. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Yeah, they're definitely stuck. Yeah, and they need to communicate. My throat's going. Throat's always going, but that's just channeling, right? I miss you so much, it scares me. Please check out the others on this uh, community if you're new here as well. <coughs> this is that King of Cups. King of Cups is in their... King of Cups is someone who's very emotional but don't say jack shit. Hence, I said my throat's going. So you feel, because you're an empath, right? You're a light worker star seed. Your empathic skills are heightened. Mm, why am I getting that? 
all right i'll finish this card side note i was getting you feel your person loves you but like i said your three of swords in reversals to me as well it could be extremes so you could be really pissed off that your person went towards someone else as well you're really heartbroken about that situation and i understand it because of that's what you expected from your person they went to commit marry pregnant something with someone else three of swords in reverse but it's drama, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Wherever they are, there's drama there. And it's a financial drama. Something They could be arguing about money. Anyway, the King of Cups, that weren't the side note. I'll tell you the side note. King of Cups in reverse is, so like I said, you could be pissed off with the Three of Swords in reverse. Extremely pissed off because you, and you could be, yeah, okay. You could be like, I don't want to know, I don't want to know, because that's what I felt at the beginning, blocked heart, uh, two of swords, and I was like, it weren't two of swords or four pentacles, it was just you're blocked, right, and because it's like, I don't understand it, I know my person wasn't communicating to me, but I know they loved me, so what the fuck happened here? So you're just like, I ain't trusting upstairs, I ain't trusting my person, I ain't. so you're listening to friends and family, right, and it's like, but your person does love you. Oh, look, there you go. They made the wrong choice. But this is, they had to. Sometimes you need to. This is a classic. You could love someone and love someone and love someone. And then they leave to go to someone else they think they love. And it's like, no, this isn't love. That was love. They couldn't tell what was love. That's what this is. I don't know what else to say. And they needed to see what they would do. I said that what, with someone else to see how it feels for them. This isn't love. They needed someone to treat them how they would treat in you to see that that isn't loving how they're treating you. King of Cups. The side note. And why was it connected with how they're thinking? Mm, it's gone, so I'm going to... It weren't great, so <laughs> let's just leave that there. I find you so incredibly attractive and sexy. It's intense. Mm, I need to go into this one. I apologise. Apart from the obvious, what it says on the card, I need to go into it because I feel a bit me. What does that mean? What am I getting with that? Ah, oh, okay. Your person, and it's a hard pill to hear or to swallow, but yeah, they were attracted to this person they went towards, right? And this is teaching your person that there's loads of fucking attractive people. You don't just jump into relationships just because. I don't know how to say it. I, it's like as if they was like, yeah, this person, this is like, how could your person even be fucking famous? It'd be like Elvis Presley just shagging loads of people, these people that shag loads of people. But I like what I like about famous people, you don't hear them like, having loads of relationships or shagging around. That's a lack, poor mentality thing. This is this. This is like, fuck's sake, yes, you're twin flame. You got the flame. You got the passion to the divine masculine. You got the gift of the gab. You, you're, you're, um, you attract a lot of people, a lot of women, a lot of men. Don't mean you got to just like, oh, this one's like me. I'm going to try to settle with that one. This one's like me. I'm, I'm attracted to their boobs, their bum, I'm going to stay shag and do this one. That's what this is. To, that's what I'm picking up with this. I find you so incredibly attractive. This is about which one is who you would want to settle with, who has, who kind of ticks all the boxes. Your person keeps bunny hopping to people with, oh, I've just got kids with them and they got a nice ass. I'll settle with that one, right? 
oh this one she's 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 quite attractive and what this other person they're with so oh yeah i'll get married and move in with this one it's like no this is what they're learning at the moment okay i i i've recognized that i need to find someone who's attractive luckily for you divine feminine was well anyway it's not really lucky but you tick that box that's a massive thing for them then they're highly sexed that's something that they need it's like finding that is pulling back and looking at what qualities i need and then going for the person i think that's what they kind of have to work through at the moment they see that with you but like i said at the beginning they're stalling but i don't think they're stalling because it is i think they're stalling to come towards you what they're doing is when I've completely divorced or when I've completely blah, blah, I'm from this ten of pentacles in reverse, this shitty situation, ten of pentacles, then I'll come towards you and commit. And this is saying that I've, I, I don't know if that's, there's something that they're not doing it correctly because they're not talking to you about it. They're not being... I'm not saying they're lying, but there's something here with the King of Cups. Like I said, the King of Cups don't say shit. They're emotionally invested in things and they don't say shit. So I think he's thinking, your person's thinking about how to come towards you and all this kind of thing. And it's like, unless they tell you it's going to be a situation where you find someone else, you're waiting for your ships to come in and, they, and you're just going to say... Uh, I'm with someone else. When they get to the chancel, they're just gonna you're just gonna leave. Three of Wands is the ships, so they're just gonna see that ship sailing off unless they fucking say something. And that's this situation, which will be their lesson. God, why am I getting this? Sorry. Impulsive, yeah. It's kind of like the, hmm, they don't want to be impulsive again. They feel what they've done to get married, their past actions was very impulsive. They don't want to do that again. But the Hierophant's here. They need that impulsiveness in a connection with you. They need that. They need that. They're trying to not do that but you can ha be impulsive in a connection for example you can just wake up and say should we just go for you know take a week weekend away and just me and you and you phone in sick and i phone in sick and we just you need that impulsiveness in a, it's it's weird they're they're not doing the i don't know they're just not doing it correctly and it needs divine time but the main thing here for you is you're blocking your heart. You need help with that. Then um, book some counselling here because most of the divine feminines, I feel, are separating from the divine masculine. A huge amount of them are separating because of this scenario here, because they're connected to someone. And although the divine masculines have woken up and coming away from the person that is why the divine feminines have separated from them the separation will remain unless you both get on the same page divine masculine needs to talk and conversate to you correctly and you need to stop listening to others about how you know how you feel about it right you know you still love them you it's your time to get takes your own time to release someone it doesn't mean you stay tied to them. Stop listening to people that say, oh, stop waiting on your person. You're not waiting, like I said, but if you're open to meeting other people, that don't mean you're waiting, does it? <laughs> right? doesn't mean you're waiting. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Check out the website and all the good stuff. Speak to you later.